mentorship is a form of education. And the reason why I say that is, um, you know, formal education, informal education have their own impact on society. And when you look at mentorship, it's like learning from somebody's experiences without necessarily going through that. So when you talk to people, it's like taking their experiences and using them as a baseline for you to basically improve on your life. One of the things I've learned is if you want to make impact, start from your home, then to your town, then to your city, then to your country, to your continent, and then the whole world, right? And to me, I think Africa has a lot to offer, not just the resources, the golds, the diamonds, but I think there is so much human resource here. There are so many smart people out here in Africa. And how do we empower them to make a change in the world, right? And so every day I wake up, these are the things I think about. And I feel like Africa could be the next, probably Silicon Valley. So many countries, cities here in Africa that are offering so many talented people. And so how do we make this possible? Not just possible, how do we make it come fast, right? And so um, with AD Police, what I personally envision is that when we make these assets and opportunities available, and one thing is, ideally we believe that education must be free and access to education must be open to everybody. And this means that primary, secondary, tertiary education at least must be free and open to everybody to have access to it. And so when I think about Africa and what role AD Police plays, I think that bare minimum, if you have a tertiary education, there are so many people who complete um, university and then they're like, what next? But then ideally, right, we believe that when you're done with university, you should probably be looking for a job, get a job, know what to figure out your life. But a high percentage of people out of universities are now trying to figure out what next. And so with AD Police in the picture, it's easy for them to have somebody to talk to, have somebody to guide them, because this is something that I went through personally. I was at a point where um, I was sort of in a dilemma, coming from health, coming from Africa, you know your parents want you to be a doctor and work in engineering or something, right? And in that dilemma, this isn't what I want to do, right? But then again, what risk am I taking? What if it doesn't work? Technology and design by then wasn't a thing as of now. And so having a mentor helps you realize really what you really want to do, guides you, sort of a shortcut to realizing what you need to do.